Okay, this is a lock that I've just bought today. Uh, it's a five lever lock. And I'm going to take it apart and see if I can work the action to demonstrate exactly how these work. This is mostly for my own benefit to stop me having to take the thing to bits every five minutes in order to look at the internal workings. Okay, so this is just a casing that lifts straight off like that. Um, and then in here you can see the mechanism. Essentially what we've got is a number of metal levers okay with this uh, main pin here preventing the bolt from sliding back and forwards the bolt is obviously at the moment um, pulled back and that's governed by this mechanism here essentially when all of these are aligned like that allows this to slide along the mechanism. It's not really meant to do that. In fact, it's really not meant to do that. But it's spring-loaded, so it's a little bit squarely sometimes. So let's try that again without the, uh, the thing actually flying off in a half. Okay, so we've now got the bolt out. Uh, again, I'm trying to turn this on the thumbs like the way. Alright, again. These all line up. And the bolt can then slide. So I'm trying to pick one of these locks. The aim of the game is to get all of these lined up. And of course this thing really isn't designed to take in bits so it's causing a bit of an issue with the springs. Uh, as I say you can see from the actual uh, shape of these things, when you're trying to pick it, if you pick it too far, basically this will just catch on the far side of the lever and it won't open. If you don't pick it enough, it will catch on the bottom side of the lever and it won't open. So, you've got to be fairly precise. That's it. Now, it's kind of difficult to see the resolution of this camera, but these levers are all slightly different thicknesses, so in that sense they're mimicking what you get with the uh, the pins in a pin and tumbler lock. Um, then also this here, uh, that will rotate, uh, if you rotate the key, this will rotate until it catches the bolt. There's a little nick which you can see when it's closed. You can see the uh, the nick is just there. Again, not terribly clear because the spring is slightly in the way. I'll just rotate that slightly. Like that you can see there's, uh, there's a little nick just here. Okay, um, that nick will basically catch in uh, a small um, sticky out bit on the bolt, and that's what will actually slide the bolt when you turn the key. I um, can't actually demonstrate how to pick it because, as yet, um, I haven't done so. Just a quick demonstration actually using the keys. Okay, so 
Put the key in from behind. Okay, so the key's now the keyway. Key turns. He says. If he's just slid off again, this is again quite irritating, I think. Push it too hard. Key turns, pushes the levers up to the correct amount, okay, and slides the bolt. That is really not very clear, but unfortunately, if I take the thumb off it, it's going to uh, send the levers flying all over the place. So, anyway, just one more. Hopefully. Clear picture of uh, the inner workings of the lock. Okay, there's five levers in there. These here are the springs for the levers to keep the levers pressed at the bottom. Uh, we've got another spring here which just provides tension to this lock, holds it in place when it's uh, when the lock's locked. Um, that really is it. It's a fairly simple mechanism. Now this here is just a cover plate, this brass bit here. This is just a cover plate that unscrews and you can put the screws in the door behind it. Let's get the casing back on. And pop the screws in. Extremely easy to take the bits, and even though the uh, levers do tend to be a bit frisky, so far they haven't come flying out the lock and taken the back off, so uh, you shouldn't have too much in the way of trouble. This is a, a Yale lock. Um, that's a Yale lock. Take word for it, I think. Yale's working up very well. And it is a uh, five lever deadlock um, PM five five two PB. Right, that'll do.